Chisels are shiny and sharp and you feel like you need to buy every single last one, but do you really need a huge set of chisels for wood carving? Well, no, but sometimes, yes. Uh, let me explain to you what I mean. One of the main problems we face with wood carving is how to create curves. Now certain curves can be made with our bog standard bench chisels. In fact, I have Skillshare classes dedicated to it where I've made wood spirits, gnomes and even little pigs. I also have a friend called QS Outdoors on YouTube who does tutorials based around flat plane carving with very few knives and he makes some really awesome carvings. And all of that is fine and dandy if it suits your style of carving and you can make so many cool carvings with a flat blade. But what if you want different textures? What if you want to make curves even easier and smoother and more convincingly? Well, now you need to go into the world of gouges. Gouges come in all different sizes from your tiny acute curves to your chunky flat curves but which ones do you actually need? Well, I'd start small and go with just a couple of different gouges with different curvatures. Let's say an asteroid was coming to Earth and I was only allowed to grab two of my gouges to take on the journey to our new home planet, Earth the Sequel. I'd grab this little gouge with a rather acute curve to it and this fishtail gouge with a rather flat curve to it. That way I have the best of both worlds. While I'm here, I'd like to thank my patrons for their continued support. You guys help to keep me going and to push my videos a bit further each time, so thank you very much. Now let's talk about V-chisels, so called because they are shaped like a V. Why are these so useful in wood carving? Well, for me they have two main purposes. The first is to create outlines and stop cuts. That's a cut made to stop the wood splitting too far or further than you want it to. And the second is to clean up awkward corners. You can get away with having just one small to medium sized V-chisel as a beginner. But do I use other tools other than just gouges and V-chisels? Well, yes I do. For example, this bench chisel gets used a lot, as does my Mora knife, and this tiny and cheap carving set I bought years ago. Not the best quality by a long stretch, but not so bad if you're on a budget like me. And this big variation of tools with different sizes and shapes allows me to have more chance to have the right tool for the job and makes my life easier and gives me a lot more potential for creating shapes and textures that I just can't achieve with one knife. But to go back to our original question, do you need a huge set of carving chisels to get started in wood carving? No, you absolutely do not. If you want to try wood carving, just get a knife and a stick and just go at it. Or use a flat bench chisel. Try not to get stuck watching endless videos and filling your brain with information before you get started. Watch a couple of videos, get very basic information, and then just do it. Do it, and do it, and do it to improve your skills and get some actual, real, hands-on experience. Carve a ball, or a wand, or a toothpick, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're cutting away wood with some kind of tool, then you're learning. The more you do that kind of thing, the more you'll have an idea of the things you want to create, and then you'll be able to figure out which tools you need. Having said that, if you really want to buy some wood carving chisels before you get started, then grab a V-chisel and a couple of different shaped gouges. If you think you're more happy in the world of knife carving, then check out a few different knife styles, do a little bit of research in that area. There's no real right or wrong answer, everyone is different and likes tools that do a particular thing in a particular way, and different tools are suited to different people's styles. The main takeaway of this video is just to get started. If you'd like to check out a simple tutorial I made to make your first ever carving, you can go here. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully I will catch you again next time.